I've made passing reference to layers uh, a few times in this course, and I want to explain what they are and why we use them, because they really are really one of the greatest things about working digitally. They allow you to add a layer of depth to your uh, your work that would be impossible um, working on paper. So let's let's explain what they are first. So we have a, a virtual piece of paper right here, and you can imagine if we had this paper and we put like a piece of glass on top of it, and on that piece of glass we can, you know, we can draw on it, we can paint it, we can do whatever, and anything that we leave uh, empty, we're going to see through the glass to the paper behind the glass. And that's essentially what a layer is. It's it's like that piece of glass. And you can not just have one piece, you can have, you know, an infinite number, as many as you want. And you can put a layer for your, your pencils, your inks, your colors, anything. Like you can have a layer just for a character, just for a background, just for uh, some objects. It just really depends on what you how you kind of want to structure your page. And when you start using panels, if you have like, you know, six panels or something, it's not uncommon for you to have like 50 to 100 layers on one page. That's not unheard of at all. And when you first learn this, it's going to be kind of confusing because you're going to have so many panels over here. I'm sorry, so many layers. This is your layer panel. And it's going to be kind of diff difficult to figure out where they are and what where you need to draw, but I, I think if you start slowly and just start with a few layers, you'll you'll get the hang of it, and then you'll start to recognize how we can look at this and understand what it is that it's describing. So this is, like I said, our layer panel, and it I have I have the page set up to automatically make, uh, in addition to the paper layer, uh, a regular layer that we can work on, and we. Uh, we have these eyeballs next to the layer that when I click, it basically is going to hide or reveal the layer. So right now there's nothing on this layer, but let me put something on and show you. If I just put some ink on it and then I hide it, it's gone. It's back. Also, you notice that this layer is darker. That means that it's selected and that's the layer that we're acting on. It also has this little kind of exacto knife next to it. If I'm on the paper layer, that's the layer we're acting on. If I want to add another layer, because right now there's just the paper in this one layer, I can just click down here on this new roster layer button. There's also new vector layers, but we're not going to get to that right now. We're just going to do roster. So just click that and you see this new layer is created, layer two. And basically this order is the bottom layer is the furthest back on the picture. So like I said, the paper, and then above that we have our layer two, and then above that we have layer one. We can move these all around. We just click on it and drag it. And it can be up here, down here. I could have a bunch of layers and rearrange them however I want. But um, let me show you how, how these look visually. So if I click on layer one and I grab a pen, and I just put a, uh, you know, a big color shape. Let's just, let's just make some color here. So that color is on layer one. And you see this little thumbnail that shows kind of the color. And this isn't going to help us when we're doing really detailed work and little, just little parts, but it's helpful in, in sometimes we can see something. But we can also, if we want to figure out what's on this layer, we can just hide this and reveal it, and that'll kind of show us what, what is on the layer. Now, if I go to another layer, layer three, for example, this is a layer above that, which means that anything I draw is going to be in front of this uh, yellow dot. So let me try with a different color and show you. So it's in front of it now. It's, it's on a higher layer, as it were. Now, if I want to move these, like I said, I can just drag this down to where it's red, and that means it's going to drop there. And I release, and now it's below that, and it shows that, because now the yellow is in front of this blue. So that's what it means when it, when the layer is higher. It means it's closer to the front in the, in the picture. So that's the basic idea behind layers. And really, just this simple concept is going to open up a whole range of possibilities that we're going to learn about as we keep going.